Hey, what's up, guys? I play 50 games of Bedwars, and this is what happened. That's right, I'm gonna be playing some Bedwars here. Most people know me as a UHC YouTuber, but I've been wanting into Bedwars for a while. So I figured since you guys really liked the 50 UHC series, I would do it for Bedwars as well. Since being on a new account doesn't really matter for Bedwars like it does in UHC, I decided to do this on my alt named Flu, as you can see here. Pretty much just for the cool title. Basically, overall in Bedwars, I have little experience. I'm probably overall like a 15 star in the game. So I figured this series will be a cool way to watch my progression in the game. And if you have any tips, make sure to leave them in the comments. Before I get into these games, I just want to let you guys know these series take a ton of time. So if you enjoy them, consider subscribing and dropping a like to help me with the algorithm. Also, I just released a new cosmetic. My bandana is on sale in the shop and you can use code SCOTTE for 10% off. And I'm doing a giveaway in my Discord for a cloak, a hat, and a bandana. All you have to do is join my Discord and react to the giveaway message. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get into the games. All right, hopping straight into game one. I just want to let you guys know that I was actually listening to copyrighted music here. And I forgot to set up my OBS to not record the music as well. So I had to uh, actually mute this part. It was only like 30 seconds of this, but I ended up just bridging straight over to Aqua. His name was Yo Mama is Fat, which I found kind of toxic, man. I had to take out his bed pretty quickly here and I had to kill him, man. You can't, you can't be calling him. Dude, don't be talking about my mama like that. Come on, bro. Anyways, after that, I started bridging over to diamonds, and look at that. I've fallen off the map. Yup, I'm pretty good at bridging, as you can see here, as I do it once again. First game, I've already died twice to the void by accident. After that, I go over to pink, and the gray person just sitting there with 2 HP. After I kill him, I finally fix my sound so you can actually hear me bridging, which is kind of nice. Um, I then rush gray. He doesn't have a bed defense, and he just disconnected. He, he just didn't want to deal with it anymore. I go over to Red, who was not at their base because they were fighting, and they ended up dying to Yellow. So it was just me versus Yellow, who was on 3 HP. I go over, they're on 14 at this point, and I just end up killing them really quickly, and I win my first game on! Let's go, dude! Hopping into game two, hoping I can go on to a win streak here, and maybe just win all 50 games in a row. And I start bridging over to the person next to me, and you'll never guess what happens here. I fall off the map again! Nice one, dude! I then realized that this is actually a, a diamond rush kind of map, and I saw the pink was rushing diamonds, so I went over there, and I went over to pink to see if I could kill them and take out their bed as well. And I have to bite tools here, and I almost get knocked off here, but I got a nice little clutch, you know? Nice little one block clutch. Hey, I'm learning, dude, you know? Getting there. I saw Pink was going over to my bed, so I took out theirs, and then I thought that I should void here, but I've hesitated just a little bit too much and managed to break my ban. I was off by like half a second, which is really unfortunate. However, I did kill them and get the final kill. I then left that base and tried to go over to Gray, where I almost got fireballed off the map, but I did manage to get Gray's bed as well. However, after getting Gray's bed, I saw that Red was rushing me, so I have to fight Red. And Red was actually a pretty sweaty player. They were, they were pretty good. I ran back over to the pink space, and I got myself a golden apple to start, try and fight this player. And even though they didn't have as good gear as me, they ended up killing me because I ended up block hitting a chest, and I die at the end of game two. Alright, game three, we're on map Toro. I think this is the first time I've ever played this map, so I wasn't exactly sure what to do. So I decided just to rush the person to the side of me, who was, uh, green. I did grab TNT before I went over, so I dropped it on his bed. As soon as it explodes, I drop down, break the bed pretty easily, and I knock him off the map. And at that point, I realized, wait, I stole my green screen overlay on by accident. So I decided to turn that off before I kept playing with that, because I've done that before. Then I went over to rush gray and I got stuck under this thing. I, I couldn't jump here. It was so stupid. I tried to keep going over the bed, but I keep hitting my head by accident. And then this player actually uh, gets a pretty good combo on me here. And I end up dying, which was very unfortunate. And as soon as I respawn, there's just the player sitting in my ender chest. They didn't break my bed. They were just sitting here for no reason. I was really confused at what just happened there. Uh, and then they kept trying to rush me and I, I was kind of just bullying them off the map. I mean, come on, you're not gonna be able to rush me like that. They, they kept doing it too. They, they did it multiple times. I, I don't know what they were thinking. He finally got bored of that and he just left the game. He, he didn't want to deal with me anymore. So I got the bed and he was gone. He, he never came back. So I'm fortunate for that guy. All right, the last people didn't have beds and I decided to try and TNT jump this guy in the middle. I almost got fireballed off, but luckily the TNT blast hit me last second. So I got over to mid and I killed the guy with diamond armor. The last guy was going for my bed and uh, I don't know what happened here. He broke my bed, but he just got stuck in the ground. I don't know what happened to this guy, but he ended up just being stuck. So I got the easy kill and I win game number three. Time for game number four. And I start off, I rush the person on the side of me, even though I'm pretty sure it's a diamond rush map once again. And I fall off the map once again. Who would have thought? 
I kept rushing them though, and they actually were ready for me. They had endstone. They ended up rushing me instead. But I knocked him off the map and I go over to his bed and he is just waiting at the edge of the, the world for me to knock him off and break his bed. I'm not really sure why uh, he didn't want to play anymore, but that's kind of just was the case. He just sat AFK in his box. He actually tried to fight me here, but at this point I'd already had enough stuff to kill him and he died. So then I rushed red and I had TNT with me this time, which was very nice. They already had enchanted iron, but it doesn't really help you when you get knocked off the map. And I got their bed before they got knocked off, too. So I got the final kill just like that. All right, I was bridged with the person next to him. And guess what happened to me again? I've fallen off the map again. Please, guys. This is so embarrassing. I've died so many times. I forgot my stuff back. I go over to blue and it was Dream. Oh my God, Dream. So I killed him and I took out his bed. And then I once again waited for him and I killed him again. He actually didn't even fight back. He just didn't want to play anymore. I that happens a lot to Bed Wars players. Anyways, after fighting him, I go over to Yellow, who actually killed me. They had a better sword than me, I guess, and just did not work out for me. Then Aqua came over and took out my bed, even though I was like half a second from actually getting him off of it. So that was unfortunate. My bed is gone now. So I tried to see if I could actually get Aqua's bed as well, but they have a diamond armor now at this point. I got a nice cobble on them off the map here. And when I go over to break his bed, I find out he actually has Obby as well. So that was kind of unfortunate. I fight them again, and I almost get knocked off the map here, but I managed to kill them with a very low HP left. I ran away so I could go buy a diamond pickaxe so I could actually break the obsidian and get his bed. And on the way over, I accidentally fell off the map. <laughs> That's how I die in game four. All right, guys, listen, I, I promise you I get better at uh, not falling off the map into the void, but uh, not in game number five. I fall off again. But I'm telling you, later into this video, you'll see I'm, I'm getting better at it. And uh, after I die, I see that somebody's already rushing me. It was white, but their bed was already gone. So manages to uh, kill them, get a final kill for free, pretty much. I didn't really have to do anything for that. That worked out pretty well. I then rushed to Red's base and actually killed them. They weren't really paying attention. They tried to fireball up and it just didn't work out. They were also a final kill, so I, I don't know what was happening. As I was there, though, my bed got destroyed, so that wasn't very good. I then went over to pink and uh, they want diamond armor and they were running away from me. They were pretty scared and yep, that's what happened. They just they walked off the map right in front of me. I, yep, Bedwars, by the way. I would never accidentally fall off the map in a final kill. Trust me, guys. Don't don't worry. I've, I've never done that. You didn't see last game. That never happened. Anyways, I killed green and they weren't very happy about that. And I went over and I killed blue. They just weren't paying attention. I don't know. But green decided to rush blue. So it kind of worked out for me because it meant I had a head start to get to his bed before he could get there. Which worked out for me as he tried to void, couldn't get there in time. I take out his bed, I wait for him to respawn, and I kill him because he doesn't have good armor. And I got diamond armor. Come on, buddy. We get the win in game number five. Here with game number six, and uh, I get my stuff, and I do my usual bed defense, and I start bridging over to the person next to me. This map has everybody very far away, and if you can't tell, nobody in this game was good at bridging, dude. Just, just look at chat. Everybody was falling into the void, as well as I did, of course. And then green kept trying to rush me. I wasn't letting that happen. They were not getting my bed today, okay? Was not going to let it happen. I take out their bed, and I wait for them to respawn, and they actually knew I was waiting for them, which was kind of surprising. I thought we were going to go out to the other side, but whatever. It was fine. After a little bit of lag, I managed to kill them. Now, blue was trying to rush me. And this is the first time I think I've done like a TNT jump like this in Bed Wars. I probably could have hit him off there, but hey man, listen, I, I, I'm learning, okay? Either way, I managed to get over to the bed and take it out. And uh, they called me a meanie, of course. I mean, it makes sense. And that was kind of toxic of me. And then I kill them as well and get this final kill. So, hey, that was pretty cool. Pretty clean, you know? I go over to Aqua's bed, take it out. They were kind of just sitting there waiting for me and I killed, killed them as well. And I tried to rush gray, but uh, they were uh, having a lot of fireballs throwing at me. And I actually managed to fall off the map here. That was kind of unfortunate for me. After a couple more attempts of getting over the bed, I did manage to get there, even though they kept trying to fire me off. I got their bed and I actually killed them. Kind of was a little bit toxic with the fireballs. Hey, you know, I had to throw fireballs back. All right. We get the win in game number six. I'll be into game seven here and we're in a little bit of a win streak. And instantly in this game, I just rushed the person next to me who was trying to rush me. They didn't even have a bed defense, so I killed them, went over to their bed, and took it out right away. And they disconnected. So I didn't have to do anything else after that. I got my sharpened swords, and then after that, I rushed Aqua. And they were fighting yellow at the time, so I didn't really have to do a whole lot of work here to take out their bed and get that kill. So after that, I waited for them to respawn so I could fight them and hope to get this final kill right here. Then yellow came back over, hoping to kill me and not have me go over and take out their bed but didn't work out for them they tried to kill me multiple times but on the way i managed to get over the bed take it out and killed them as well so i got another really really fast win here in game seven hoping to get my fourth win in a row in game number eight i spawn in and i try and tnt jump over to the next player beside me and let's just say i haven't really gotten that down yet um i'm working on it it's it's a work in progress we'll, we'll get there don't worry i mean 
I am kind of a beginner in bedwars, okay? I'm just trying to test some things out. But I kill Aqua, I can take out their bed, and they disconnected, so I didn't have to kill them again. After that, I went over to Yellow, and I took out their bed as well, as they didn't even know, but they were rushing Green. Green ended up killing Yellow for the final kill, so I kind of just got to clean up a little bit and take out Green's bed. After they respawn, they try and kill me while I was hiding in a little box, but they did not have the gear to, so got another little final kill right here. After that, I go over to Blue, who was actually defending their bed, and they had a little bit of better gear. They didn't have a better sword, but the armor was better. They gave me really low here, and I managed to get a nice little clutch again. You know, I feel kind of good about these clutches. It really makes Bedwars fun actually getting clutches like that and doing fireball jumps and TNT jumps. Anyways, Blue ends up dying to Red, so I go over, take out Red, take out their bed, and then I wait for the respawn. They still only had chain armor at this point, so I killed them as well pretty easy. I TNT jump over to Gray, who was getting rushed by Pink as well. So I have to kill Gray here, and then I take out their bed. And I try and get the final kill on them, but Pink drops down as well, because they also want that final kill. And I actually do end up getting the final kill. Not the kill on Pink, though, kind of unfortunate. So I go over to Pink, and they try and fireball me off, but they miss. And they actually were kind of laggy here. They, uh... Just were standing at their bed and I punched them. They didn't go anywhere. Literally, actually, internet from the moon. I was just punching them to see if I could make them take a bunch of knockback at once. And yeah, that, that happened. They just teleported slowly down to the void. And I win game number eight. Going to game number nine, looking for a nice little five win streak. And I started bridging over to the player next to me and they had the same exact idea, but I actually was paying attention for them. So I knocked them off the map, go over to their bed and actually kill them and get their bed. After the respawn, they didn't know I was above them. They tried to go over to my bed again, but I didn't let it happen, so I knocked them off the map. And then I tried to bridge back over to somebody else, and guess what happened? I fell off the map. Twice. Yep. Good player, by the way. Then I accidentally buy wood. Yep. I'm really good at clicking, too. Then I go over to Pink's bed, and I try and hit them off the map here, but they took no knockback at all. <laughs> and I died instantly. I was really confused what happened there. Luckily, that happened, because there was actually somebody rushing my bed at that moment, so I got to knock them off before they got my bed. Pink tried to rush me. Didn't work out for them, because I knocked them off, and I got their bed as well. And then I tried to knock them off the map again. They got TP'd back. Almost flawless them, but they hit me once. Now, Green's tell tried to keep rushing my bed, but I had a trap this time, and I managed to kill them as well again. Then I went over to their bed, and I took it out, but the problem was they also went over to my bed and took it out as well. So I didn't have a bed, didn't have a bed. It was a 1v1 situation, and then I saw that they were invisible. I saw some particles, so I tried to hit them off of this, but they had an ender pearl. And... They end approach straight onto me and they had jump boost as well and they had a lot of good stuff. Luckily, they didn't go for me when I was on half a heart right here. I was on half a heart and they did not go for me. So I got really, really lucky there. They didn't do that. And then after that, I managed to actually knock them off the map here and get the win in game number nine, baby. Let's go. All right, going into game number 10, pretty confident. Red tries to rush my bed, but I do not let that happen. You cannot rush my bed, okay? You don't even try it. So I go over, and I have to knock them off the map here, but it didn't work out, so I had to actually kill them. Go over, explode their bed defense, take out their bed, and I actually knock them off the map. Finally, he actually goes off. Now, as I go over, somebody actually followed me over. It was purple, and they had a lot more health than me, and they had TNT. They knock out my bed They tried to kill me. However, I had just enough gold to buy an iron sword and a gap, so I got that, and I actually had enough stuff to kill them. So, the dream was still alive. The wind streak was still alive. I go over towards green, who was at diamonds, and I have to kill them here. I go over to their base, and I actually have to knock them off the map again. I tried to get their bed before they fell off, but it was a little bit too slow. Now, I was watching them sit at diamonds, and I was trying to warn them that there was a person behind them, but they didn't get the uh, idea until it was too late. I did. I, I tried to warn them, you know? Come on. I was trying my best. Anyways, I fire about pink off the top high ground over here. I get them really, really low with that. They're on zero HP. So I throw another fireball, and I kill them with that, which is kind of cool. I rush over to Aqua, who I don't even know what they were doing, but I tell you what, they were sus, okay? They were sus, you see? Now, I got stuck under this little thing here. I kept trying to jump. It was kind of embarrassing, but I got out. Almost got knocked off the map, but it didn't matter. Still got the winning game number 10. Looking to extend my win streak to 7 in game 11. I didn't really learn my lessons from TNT jumping to people and not having the timing down right. And also, not the good angle either. So, I ended up falling off the map here and getting my bed broken because of that. So, that was kind of a very stupid move. However, this person, they got me down to 2 HP, but it didn't matter. I still killed them. So... As, uh, as I watched them absolutely just miss me completely, I went over to their bed and broke it as well. So it worked out. We traded beds, and then I went to middle to try and get some diamonds and some emeralds and stuff. But the person I tried to fight actually already had sharpened swords, and they had protection, so I died really quickly in game 11. 
We're back with game 12 after my win streak has been defeated, unfortunately. And I started going over to rush the player beside me, but I get off into the void. Very unfortunate. However, I start going after them and they fall off into the void. And uh, they, they weren't very happy about that. So they decided to just leave the game. So I just broke their bed and they were gone. We'll take that. Then, of course, the classic Scotty kind of just falls off the map again. Who would have thought? Nice one, dude. Go back to my base and there's somebody trying to rush me and they have TNT, but it doesn't matter. So I knocked them off the map and I go after their bed and they weren't even there. I'm not sure why not, but I ended up going after them once again and I knocked them off the map. So we got a pretty easy final kill right there. Then my bed gets destroyed. So I have to be a little bit careful here. Try not to lose two in a row. I go after the person who destroyed my bed. I fireball their bed and I fight them even though they have iron armor and an iron sword. I ended up killing them and I got their bed. Now, when they respawned, they only had a wooden sword, so I didn't have to deal with a whole lot of damage here, and I managed to kill them. And it was down to a 1v1 here, me versus pink, and I knocked them off the map. They had diamond armor and diamond sword, but it didn't really matter as I take out their bed and I kill them as well. So we'll take another win back with the game number 12. All right, back with game number 13. And of course, I got to start this off with falling to the void because that's what I do best. Anyways, somebody tried to rush me. They almost made me die to fall damage. I didn't realize how high up I was, but I ended up hitting them off here and they decided to just jump into the void. So I got over their bed, got it pretty easy. It wasn't too much of an issue and I had to kill them as well to get that nice little final kill. After that, somebody was starting to rush me and they had no bed left. And I almost fell in the void again, but I got a nice clutch. I'm telling you, I'm getting better at this. And I had to go over and kill him as well. I need I need these final kills, bro. G give me all the final kills. Then I go over and I break Blue's bed. And while I'm there, I'm like, I should probably buy a minor fatigue trap while I'm here, huh? Oh, but it didn't matter. My bed was already gone. Then I go to mid, but this player, they have diamond armor, a diamond sword, and they have an invis potion. And the only thing I have is two bed bugs to hopefully have a silverfish to deal knockback to them so I can get away. And it did not really work out for me here. I end up dying. Very unfortunate for game 13. All right, game 14, we're on the map Glacier here. I decided to bridge to the person next to me and they had the same exact idea, but I have high ground and they didn't know that. So I knocked them off the map really easily and I get their bed and I have to just wait for the respawn at this point because you know, I need these final kills. So managed to knock them off the map and we get that final kill right there. And honestly, it would be one of these games without falling off the map because I would like to fall off the map a lot apparently. It's okay guys. But I do manage to go over to Yellow's bed and take it out and I wait for them to respawn and they were just chilling in there. Their gen, just waiting for me to kill them honestly. And I got that kill as well. So after that, it was just down to a 1v1, but I decided to fall off the map again. This time I got smart. I got myself TNT. And look at this guys. I actually got the timing down this time and I got in front of them so that I could try and kill them on their way back to their bed and then i got a tnt down on their bed and after that it wasn't too much longer until i could knock them away so i could go break their bed and get the final kill and i can win game number 14. game 15 we're on airship here i really like this map except for every single time i go over here i end up hitting my head and I almost fall off the map. But you know what? This time I didn't fall off the map. So that's, that's all that matters. I killed this person over here. TNT their bed. And then I knocked them off the map and break their bed before they fall. And look at that. Free final kill right there. Go over to red. Take out their bed while they're also looking at gray. And they get killed because of it. So I'm sorry, red. My bad. It won't happen again. I go over and I kill gray myself though to get that final kill. After that, I uh, break white's bed. And then it comes down to just two other people with no bed while I have mine. And I drink myself some potions over here and I clean up their fight pretty toxic and I get both these final kills So hey, we take that nice little dub for game 15 All right, I start another win streak on game 16 aqua tries to rush me right off the bat But I knock them off the map I go over to their bed blow it up with some TNT and I can knock off the map after breaking their bed But I end up getting my revenge because I knocked them right off right back Then of course I fall off the map again because I keep doing that. That's really stupid, but I bought myself sharpened swords here and I learned an important lesson, okay? After breaking Yellow's bed, I decided to go after them. And as I was fighting them, somebody actually breaks my bed. And it was at this point I realized maybe I should buy um, a trap instead. All right, game number 17 here. I spawn in and I get all my stuff. I rushed the person next to me, but they decided to disconnect. So I guess I got free bed broken out of here, but I didn't get a final kill or anything like that. After then, I went to the middle, which is something I usually don't do. And I actually grabbed all the emeralds and I did something I thought I would never do. And I got obsidian. That's right. I encased my entire bed in obsidian. I even got an achievement for it. So, you know, I probably don't do this like a lot just because it's not my style. But I did do it this time. And then I went over to Aqua. I took out their bed. After that, I went over to Yellow. 
who uh, tried to fire while we did the sky, but it didn't really work out for them because I still managed to kill them here and take out their bed. So while I was taking out their bed and about to fight them so I can get a final kill here, my trap gets triggered. So I decided to put all my stuff in the inner chest and try and void. See if I can get to my bed in time before they actually broke my bed, but I was a couple seconds off. Unfortunately for them, I had enough iron to get a couple fireballs. So I fireballed them off the map and I was for a final kill. And after that, it was just down to a 1v1. We both didn't have beds. They had diamond armor and they were trying to fireball me, but they managed to fireball themselves off the map. We take that dub, let's go. All right, we're 18 games in now, and of course I wanted to try and do a nice little TNT jump over to the next guy beside me, but didn't have the angle down right, so I uh, ended up falling into the void there, and then he actually manages to rush me and kill me, and he takes out my bet. He tries to get the final kill on me, but he was low HP, so I easily knocked him off the map. I was getting really weird, like, double hits this game. I took out their bed, and then I started fighting them as well, and I killed them for the final kill. Now, Green tries to come over and rush me, but I have another TNT, and I managed to TNT jump past them. I actually got the TNT, you know, angle down that time. I got in front of them, and I took out their bed. So now it's just down to 1v1. We both didn't have beds. I went over to mid. I heard them drinking a potion, so I decided to go up these ladders. I heard them follow me up the ladders, so I fireballed them, and I was able to kill them because I had sharpness, and they did we take that win in game number 18. The 19th game, we're on one of my favorite maps here. Of course, you got to rush to the person to your side, and I, they were just AFK, I'm pretty sure. I took out their bed, and they were just sitting in the generator and not doing anything. So we, I guess we take that kill. Then I rush over to Blue, who's already low HP, and I hit them twice, kill them, and I take out their bed, and I wait for them to respawn. After they respawn, they, uh, I don't really know what they were doing. They were, they were punching me. They, I, they didn't really fight back. It was, it was fine. It was whatever. And then I realized, wait. I didn't actually get their bed. <laughs> they actually respawned. I was like, wait, I guess there was lag, so I didn't get their bed. And once again, I went over to go fight them, and they were just punching me again. They didn't actually fight back. I'm still so confused what happened there. It was down to me versus red, and that was it. They didn't have a bed. I had a bed. They had a better sword, but I had better armor and better hits. So we take that win. Game number 20, and we're back on a win streak again. And we're also back to me falling into the void. Yep. But I went over to the person beside me, and I realized, wait, there wasn't even anybody here. That was really stupid. After that, we went over to green, and then we're also getting rushed by yellow, so I managed to get the bed pretty easy here. I knocked yellow off of the map, and then I got green as a final kill all to myself. After that, of course, I had to go over to yellow. They weren't even paying attention for some reason. I got their bed, and I managed to kill them as well, so I guess we kind of just got two final kills and two beds for pretty much free, even though he teleported to my block. And then, of course, I had to follow up the map again. That's just, it's just what happens. So, uh, I was waiting here, and I noticed that there was somebody invisible trying to TNT jump over to my base. And yeah, they, they didn't do very well to that. But I decided to go after them, and they were just fireballing me off, and it kind of distracted me. And of course, my trap got triggered, and my bed got destroyed. But that was really unfortunate. I decided to run away here and see if I can get some emeralds and stuff, and they actually kind of followed me. Even though there was blue with a bed left, they decided to follow me instead. I tried to stack up here and hopefully get on this bridge, but I got knocked off and I couldn't clutch. We die in game 20. All right, after breaking the win streak in game 20, in game 21, there's some people admiring my name and taking screenies with it, which is kind of cool. I then tried to go over to Aqua and yeah, I fell off the map again, but I respawned and I actually managed to make sure they didn't break my bed in time. I, I'll take it, my bed's still alive. They tried to fireball jump over, but uh, I got really low from that and I still managed to kill them before they got that wool broken. I got over to their bed, broke it. I don't know what they were doing, they were just AFK. They're trying to fireball me again, that's not gonna work, bro. I'm still gonna be able to kill you here, all right? This is my final kill. Don't don't try and do that to me anymore. Then I rushed Pink, who also wasn't paying attention, but they had mining fatigue, so I, I couldn't really break their bed in time. But I did manage to kill them, which allowed me to get enough time to break it. So that was pretty good. I had to go up here and wait for them to respawn. I actually got iron armor because of that. And I also had healing pool, but it didn't matter. I still did enough damage to kill him. I then got emeralds off of Pink and got an ender pearl. So I ender pearl over to Blue, who wasn't really paying attention and managed to break their bed while they weren't looking at me. So that's another free bed and a free final kill right here. After that, it was just down to me and yellow. I broke their bed. I just, nobody was paying attention to this game. I guess I was invisible, but still. And then they asked me what I wanted to buy or something. I don't know. I just knocked them off the map. I, I just wanted to win. We take this win in game 21. Don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. That's right. That's, that's actually how old I am. Anyways, I tried to TNT jump over to green, and it didn't go as planned. But you know what? It, it still worked out. I still managed to kill them and get their bed. So I guess it wasn't that much of a problem. I still need to get a little bit better at TNT jumping. However, I did not manage to get the final kill on them, because they killed me. It was a very unfortunate, so I followed them to middle, and uh, he did not get away from me this time. Got the final kill, finally. I bought myself some potions with all the stuff I got instead of obsidian. I went over to Aqua and took out their bed. 
And uh, I didn't manage to kill Aqua because they died to somebody else. Now I went back to my bed and there's somebody there. I had a weird trap. I don't know. I guess I misclicked it. I usually buy mining fatigue, but that was something else. Anyways, I see White trying to come over to my bed and I was not letting that happen. They had better stuff than me, but I managed to kill them still. So we take that. I tried to fireball myself over to Red, but it didn't really work out. I kind of missed. They also had like a bunch of fireballs. This time I did not mess up though. I fireballed their bed defense and I broke the bed. I died here. But I also went to middle and they were there. I had better stuff than them. So I got the win in game 22. Game 23, we spawn in and actually this time I'm the one getting rushed immediately. I couldn't even get over there quick enough. But this player was already at my base. Now I tried to get over there and block them off so that they couldn't actually get on this bridge. But it didn't work out in my favor as I got knocked off into the void. Now as soon as I respawned, my bed was gone. However, I did manage to kill them one more time, but I had to go up on top of my base and it did not really work out for me. Even though I had better gear, they got better hits, so I lost game 23. I was a little upset with how I did in the last game, so I decided to sweat a little bit harder in game 24. And I actually kind of went on a rampage this game. I knocked out Red's bed and I waited for them to come back to their base, which they did. And I killed them pretty quickly, they didn't even hit me, so that worked out pretty well. And I went over to Pink. They didn't even notice me. They were trying to bridge away, but I got their bed. They tried to run away. I just hit them off with my block. Almost fell off the map there. That was a little bit scary. Went over to White's bed, but it was already gone. So it didn't really matter. I was just going to get this final kill. And I got it right there. Then right after that, I went over to Cyan. Knocked them off, but did not lock them to the void. I did get their bed. Almost died right here, but I saved myself and I killed them without dying again. And then the last player was Yellow. I fireball jumped right over him. Got his bed, and then I killed them, and just like that, game 24 was a win. Alright, 25 games, that means we're halfway through, we're on Speedway once again. I go over to Rush Green, who is already trying to rush me, I knock them off the map, which means I can get to their bed and break it easily, because they didn't even have enough fence. Works out for me. I uh, go into their base to try and kill them, but I get really low here, and I try to get around and go up top, but he gets a hit on me, which is very unfortunate. Then they uh, started asking me for a screeny for some reason. I was really confused as why they were doing that. I almost knocked them off, but they got a really good clutch here. And they kind of just were stalling at this point. And it turns out it's because somebody else was rushing me. My bed got destroyed, but I still really want to get this final kill. I was getting really greedy for this. And I did end up getting it, but I ended up dying because of it. And I die in game 25. All right, game number 26, my favorite number. We're on a new map. Gray tries to rush me, doesn't work out well for them. So I go over and I take out the bed and I wait for them to rush me. And yeah, still doesn't really work out for them. So we get this final kill. Then I go over to blue. They don't have a bed at the moment. So kind of just cut them out in the corner. Fireball jump over to white. Uh, I've really been liking fireball jumping. It's actually a lot of fun. It also made me like bedwars a lot more. I try to take out the bed, but uh, I TNT it and I realize they have obsidian. So I have to run away. Almost get killed here, but once again, the fireballs come in clutch. So I go over and I buy a diamond pickaxe and on my way back over to white, they're waiting for me. And also Aqua is there. White decides they're going to try and get my bed, but no. This map has a lot of iron, so I have a bunch of fireballs. And I stop them from going over the bridge and I kill them. Then I finally get over, fireball jump over to their bed, and I actually kill them. And this time I actually have a diamond pickaxe, and I kill their bed, and I also kill them for the final kill. Now, it's just down to me and Aqua. They weren't even paying attention, took out their bed, and I knocked them off the map, and we take game 26. All right, game 27, we're on the map Solus. This game, I went straight over to the person next to me who was busy getting end stones. They didn't have a bed defense. I almost didn't break their bed, but I did manage to get it. And then I also killed them as well. Didn't have much of a problem with that. Then I went over to diamonds and there's already somebody there. And we were actually incredibly even in this fight to the point where we double killed. I've never seen that in Bedwars before. After that, I tried to rush over to him and I fell off the map again. But he comes over to me and he breaks my bed because there was only one block protecting it. So I ran away for a bit and then I got him to come after me so I could fireball past him and get his bed as well. See, fireballs have been pretty useful recently. I do really like using them. So I got his bed and then it was just down to a 1v1. And at this point he had like protection three or protection four armor and I had protection two. So this fight was unavoidable for me. So we lose game 27. All right, back on Speedway for game 28. I feel like I get this map a lot, but every time I get it, I just rush over to the person next to me and often they don't have a bed defense. This time I got to knock them off and get their bed all in one. Then I went over to Blue who was not at their bed, but they saw me going over and they were begging me not to break their bed, but 
I mean, I had to do it. I had to get the statistics. Now I went over and I got an Ender Pearl and I Ender Pearl to Aqua. They weren't there, so I got to break their bed really easily as well. However, as I was there, they actually ended up breaking my bed as well. So it came down to a 1v1v1. Nobody had beds left, but they were fighting. They didn't see me coming over, so I got two very easy final kills and an easy win for game 28. Game 29, here we are. So, I rush over to the person next to me who was bridging away pretty slowly to the diamonds and I got their bed. And since this player did not have a bow, they did not have a chance as they're a new bow spammer and not good at melee. Then I went over and I broke Blue's bed and I got this final kill as well. So I'm already looking pretty good. Two beds, two final kills very quickly in this game. However, somebody tried to go past me and fireball and try and get to my bed in time. So I went on a high speed chase here. However, I kind of messed up that fireball there and they had an extra one. So I tried to place that my TNT and TNT jumped over, but I did not get the timing right and I fell off the map. However, they didn't get to my bed in time, so I went over to white to kill them and knock out their bed all in one. So I could just wait for them to respawn and get the last final kill as it is just them left. So we get the win in game number 29. All right, the big 3-0. I'm trying to go on a win streak again. We're once again on speedway, so I have to rush over to the person next to me. I feel like I get red almost every time, but I'm always rushing gray. So I TNT their bed here. I try to knock them away so I can break it, but I have quite an issue trying to break it and I get knocked off the map. So somebody else tries to rush me as I respawn, but I end up killing them as they kill me as well. So after that, another person comes over who is incredibly stacked. I get killed super quick. End up breaking my bed here. I'm gonna respawn. There was just no way I was killing him with what they had. So uh, I, I lose game number 30. All right, game 31. Here we are. And I rush yellow straight over to me. I knocked them off the map, or so I think. That's after I break their bed. They're still on the map somehow. I was really surprised how that happened. Anyways, I rush Aqua and I end up fireball jumping up top so they do not actually kill me. So I can drop down and break their bed and get the final kill all in one. Then after that, we go over to Gray, who is not even there. So we get to break their bed for free. And then it just comes down to me versus Gray. But they have enchanted iron armor and an enchanted iron sword when I have unenchanted stone and unenchanted iron. But it does not matter as I still manage to out PvP them as they fireball me into them and get a combo. Let's jam it out to start game 32. Listen to some good music, I guess. I rush blue right away, who was not paying attention. I feel like every time I fight somebody with this skin, they uh, always don't have a bed defense, and I just rush them right away. Then I go over to Gray, who was at Diamonds. I kill them, and I wait for them to respawn as I go over and break their bed, but they actually disconnected. They didn't, they didn't want to play anymore, I guess. So I went over to Pink and tried to break their bed just to find out it was already gone, <laughs> and they were towering up for some reason. So I fireball them down and watch them slowly die. White decides to follow them and also jump off the map for some reason. So I got to go over to their bed, break it, and wait to fight them for the final kill. And even though they had better gear, it didn't matter because I hit them once. So it's just me versus Aqua. I get over to their base. I firebomb straight up in the air to break their bed and actually be able to kill them as they just kind of gave up and walked off the map into a slow death. It happens. It happens. Game 32 is a win. All right, game 33, we're back on this weird map with the weird coal ceiling thing. And I rush the person next to me and they're just AFK. This is why I'm glad I went with a Ryzen CPU instead of a uh, Intel because they are just AFK apparently. Anyways, I go over to blue and I break their bed because they were fighting green. So I didn't have any problem with that. I jump over with a fireball. Almost steal the final kill from blue, but not quite. Then after that, I fireball jump over Aqua, but they also do a fireball, so I cannot actually land there. It was really good. Then I go over to white, fireball their bed, and get knocked off the map, unfortunately. Almost saved myself, though. Try and fireball over to white again, and they're the last player left, so I have to kill them and get the win for game 33. We're back on this map for game 34, and I feel like we've got this map a lot. Anyways, I rushed Gray and got their bed out, and then I went to go over to kill them because they were at a pink's base just chilling. So I got that final kill right there. After that, um, we fell off the map again. It's been a while, but you know, I was getting better at least. I TNT jumped over to Aqua, and then I placed a TNT above their bed and knocked them off the map. So that I could get their bed before they actually died, so I get the final kill without having to kill them again, which is always nice. And now, it was just down to me and Blue, and I killed Blue here, and after that, they just disconnected. So, I got over to their bed, got the bed, and I won the game. Didn't even have to do anything, so game 34 is a win. Game 35! Wow, we're already pretty far to this video already, I'm kind of surprised. Anyways, I rushed over to Yellow, who was right beside me, they tried to fireball me off, but honestly, that kind of helped me. Got me in a good position, I didn't get the final kill on them there, because I got knocked off, however... I watched him fall into the void. Ha! Who would ever do that? Anyways, I went over to white, and they already had their bed gone, so I got another final kill here. 
And after that, we move on our way to Blue. Now, I had a bunch of fireballs for Blue, so I easily got them down to very low HP and killed them. Then they asked me if I was actually level 16, which, yeah, I am. I got myself a fireball and I smoothly fireballed my way up to this bridge right past Blue, who didn't even know I was there. So I got this bed for free, no problem at all, and I chested all my stuff. That way I could void and get back to my bed before they could get there. Then I got myself all my stuff back and I fireballed across and I hit them off this bridge while still surviving. And they said, wow, there is no way you are actually level 16. But I actually am. But we win game 35. Back on Crypt for game 36. I feel like a lot of people like this map, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Anyways, I messed up my jump here and I let Aqua get on top of the bridge so I could not get back to my bed in time because I misjumped my TNT. So, my bed got destroyed, which was very unfortunate. However, I did get respawned and actually be able to survive right here. Knocked them off the map and I actually got over to their bed in time as well. But, Green also came over and they had enchants and stuff and I couldn't kill them before Aqua could respawn. Which was very, very unfortunate. I got down to a heart and a half, but I managed to really quickly bridge all my way up so that I could not get killed, but I had nowhere to go. Green got respawned. I died in game 36. Game 37, we're on a map where I have to bridge very far to the people next to me, which means I'm probably gonna fall off the map. But I have been getting better. Anyways, I got over to gray while they were fighting red, and they knocked out each other's beds, and one of them got final killed, so I went over and I cleaned up, and I got the other final kill on red. But while I was doing that, my bed got destroyed, which is very unfortunate. But I ended up getting over to white, I took out their bed, and then blue killed white, so it's just down to me versus blue with no beds left, and I almost die here, but I got a nice little ender pearl and block clutch. So I had to get out of there because of those iron golems. And then came down to 1v1 here, he tried to spam some fireballs into me, but it didn't matter. I ended up getting him pretty low here, but I got low myself. So I had to run away here on this bridge, and I did the classic little block off the bridge, and he fell for it. We win game number 37. All right, and here we are with game 38, and this game, I instantly rushed green, and I got their bed, but I didn't end up getting this final kill. They ended up running away, so I went over and I got yellow's bed as well. However, they actually uh, disconnected. I didn't even realize it, but they were not even there, so I didn't get to kill them either. And then I went over to red, who was already fighting somebody else, so I managed to get their bed pretty easily here, even though they had a lot of good stuff and an iron golem and everything here, but it didn't really matter even though I could not hit them here for some reason. I guess because of the fire. I don't know, it's really weird. But I did finally get their bed here. And then it came down to just this 1v1 here. I killed their iron golem. And then I managed to knock them off the map. So we got the win in game 38 with only one final kill. Game 39, we're back on Speedway again. I feel like we played this map a bunch, but I don't mind it because I love this map. I managed to rush red very quickly this game with TNT and I got their bed and I exploded them off the map, which is really good. However, when I got back to my base, I ended up putting myself in a terrible position here where I get knocked off the map and my bed gets destroyed before I die. So I lose game 39. Now 40 games in, that means we only have 10 games left, which is kind of surprising. It's gone by really fast here. Anyways, I saw Aqua was coming over to me, so I tried to knock them off the map. However, it was just me going off the map, which is very unfortunate. They did almost get here though, but I managed to kill them. And then I noticed the green was rushing me as well. So I decided to jump over them and get to their bed and get it as well. However, at this point, I kind of just traded beds with them, which was not the smartest idea. But it didn't really matter in the end. So after that, I went over and I final killed green, who had taken out my bed. And then I tried to fireball blue off the map. However, I just ended up giving them a better position on me, which was not good. So after that, I ended up going past them and getting to their bed. They tried to void, but they did not get there in time. So I got their bed and I killed them for the game 40 win. All right, there isn't a whole much of excitement in game 41, except for the fact that while I was bridging over to red, I fell off the map once again. I got over to red finally though without falling off and I killed red while I took out their bed and I waited for them to respawn. And they respawned, I went in their base and they didn't hit me. So that was pretty nice. And then the last person was just white who didn't have a bed and I just hit him once off the map and we got the game 41 win. Back to Speedway for the 90th time for game 42. And I rushed over to gray once again. I feel like I'm telling you every time I'm always red and I'm always rushing gray on this map. Tell me I'm not. Anyways, I knocked him off the map and I got the bed out so I didn't have to kill him again, which is always nice. Then I got my way over to Pink, who did not have a bed, so I just went in and started to fight them. Even though they had some pretty good gear, it didn't matter. I still traded hits with them and won. So I went over to White, I took out their bed, and then I was just running around while my bed got taken out. So I had to play a little bit safer at this point, but I noticed Blue was a little bit under gear compared to me, and you know how I always like to get kills and beds and stuff? So I got Jump Boost Potion, I jumped over them, I got his bed, and then I ended up killing him here. So it was just down to a couple more people, but I got some MCU flashbacks to Tech 
Ectoplane ended up dying here to Technoblade 94. Technoblade never dies, I guess. <laughs> wow, only seven games left at this point. So this game, I actually got rushed by someone right away and I just traded hits with them a little bit, but they got one more hit on me here. I got the two HP, so my bed got destroyed pretty much immediately. However, I was not going to let that happen, so I instantly went out, I one-tapped them, and I went over to their bed, and I got revenge. I took out their bed, and in fact, I ended up killing them, because I had a stone sword, and they only had a wood sword. Then, there was only one other person left, and it was Aqua, who wasn't even at their bed. So I destroyed their bed, and then I ended up just watching them walk off the map in the final 1v1. Who would ever do that? Game 43 win. Game 44, almost done. I rushed green immediately. They did not even have their bed defense done, so I got their bed. I didn't get the kill on them though, so they tried to rush me back and they fall off the map and disconnected. So I didn't get that final kill either. And then I went over and killed Pink, who fell off the map as well. I did not get the bed before they fell off though, so I had to kill them this time and get the final kill, which is kind of nice. I, I like final kills. Then I overestimated how far I would go with a fireball and almost saved myself but I got knocked off. However, the other person also fell off the map. They missed a fireball, and then I had to go back to their base and kill them. And then it was time for me to take out their bed, and it was time for the 1v1. I still had a bed and they didn't, and I also had a little bit better gear, and I ended up winning this fight right here to get the game 44 win. Game 45 was definitely one of the quickest games that I have played during these 50 games. And that is because I instantly tried to go up, but somebody was already there and I got knocked off the map. And my bed got destroyed right after I died. And I did not end up winning this 1v1 here. Even though they had less health than me, I kind of got destroyed here and I lose game 45. Game 46. Wow, really? Only four games left? Anyways, this game, I bought TNT, and I tried to do a cool little TNT jump over. I didn't get to knock them off like I wanted to, though, and I ended up dying to them. But it's okay, I got back over. They still were pretty low HP, so I didn't have to do a whole lot to kill them this time. And I finally got their bed this time. And then we had a very, really weird, awkward 1v1 here for the final kill. I don't know, my aim was really bad, but I did finally get them. And then I went over to Yellow, who was in their chest for some reason. Almost thought I didn't get their bed, but it turns out that I did. And then green tried to rush me, but they did a fireball jump that set them on fire and that slowed them down. And I almost fell off the map there, but I saved myself and they, they just gave up, which was cool. And it was down to a 1v1. My bed gets taken out. But while they were doing that, I was going over to their bed. So I TNT their bed and then I dropped down here and break the bed. They had a knockback stick, but luckily for me, I did not take enough knockback to fall off the map. We take the dub. Game 47, I just want to take this time to say if you guys have been enjoying this and you guys want to see more of this, please let me know in the comments. I really do like recording these. The commentary is a little bit interesting. I'm definitely not used to Bed Wars commentary. I've been trying my best. So if you guys have any suggestions or any tips or anything, make sure to leave them in the comments. But anyways, this game was pretty easy. I ended up just going around destroying the beds really easily. And, and I killed Blue right here who was trying to take out my bed. But they did not get there in time and it came down to a 1v1 versus me in yellow. And I kind of toyed with him a little bit, but I got the final kill here. A48, and we're back on the map. I think it's called Glacier. It's kind of a fun map. However, there's a lot of like diagonal bridging, which I'm still not really good at. Anyways, I knocked Yellow off, who didn't notice I was bridging beside them, but I didn't get their bed before they fell off, which was okay, because I just went in and they were trying to buy a stone sword and stuff, but they didn't have enough time. So I got the final kill on them there. Then I was getting killed by Red here, but I 3000 IQ outplayed them and I spleefed them off the map and I got over to their bed and I broke it as well. So I just had to wait for them to respawn and fight them as well. We had a really awkward 1v1. We both took a bunch of knockback here, but I still came out victorious because I had protection. So that was good. Anyways, I TNT jumped over to Gray, who then tried to come after me, but I decided that I could just probably knock them off the map here because I was on the high ground. But they ended up getting teleported back. I got them to zero. I killed them and I take out their bed. Now at this point, my bed gets broken while I was doing this 1v1. So I was really scared here. Luckily for me, I didn't get hit. So after that, it came down to a 1v1v1 with nobody having beds. I did not have fireballs like this guy had, though. He was just spamming fireball after fireball after fireball. He did not care. When he finally ran out of fireballs, he ran straight into fire. And I had just a little bit better gear. And I also hit him a couple more times. And I almost died, but I survived. So I bought myself some potions here. And I was just waiting for Pink to not notice me. I go up behind them and I get a really good combo because speed 2 is absolutely busted. And I win this game number 48.
Game 49, this is only one more game after this, and then we are done with these 50 games. So of course I had to fall off the map to remember my roots, of course. Then I go over to white and I break their bed, and even though they have sharpness swords, I actually end up killing them here for the final kill. After that, red starts rushing me, and I try and knock them off the map, but once again, gotta remember my roots. But they finally got over to my bed, and I actually got really low here, and ended up killing me, which is really bad, because that means they could get my bed. So they got my bed here and I just like got all my stuff. But after this 1v1 here, even though I had better gear than Rogue Rex, he killed me and I lose game 49. All right, game number 50, the last one. And we're on airship, one of my favorite maps. And I'm remembering my roots by falling off the map one more time at least. But green comes over to rush me. We're both low HP here. I ended up dying to fall damage, but so did they very luckily or else they would have broke my bed right there. They ended up getting past me here and almost got my bed broken. They were almost about to break it but i managed to kill them however i ended up trading beds with them and it came down to just us after i broke their bed so this was just me versus green in a 1v1 situation they uh, missed the fireball completely and then hit me with one but it was finally down to this and they drank an invis potion which was very unfortunate for me i did not get to eat a golden apple in time and that was kind of my downfall because i ended up dying here when they were on 2 hp and we lost game 50. All right, so that's my full progression of 50 games in Bed Wars. So let's get down to some stats here. Out of my 101 deaths, I had 29 deaths to accidentally falling into the void. I asked you earlier in the video to comment down how many times you think I would. So let's see if anybody got it right. But I ended up with 113 total final kills and 16 final deaths, which left me with a 7.06 final KDR, which is not really that great considering I feel like it could have been a lot higher. I won 34 out of the 50 games and I had 16 losses. I broke 120 beds and overall I had 128 kills. Anyways, I really, really enjoyed recording these, and I plan to record the next ones on Twitch live, so if you have not followed my Twitch yet, make sure to do that, twitch.tv slash scate. If you guys have any suggestions for the future of these, if you guys want me to do these in any different games, anything like that, please just let me know in the comments or in my Discord. I really, really appreciate all the feedback. But if you guys want to watch another video like this, click this one over to the right of the screen, and please don't forget to subscribe if you actually enjoyed the video. I would really, really appreciate it. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Later.